Hi guys, it's me Ms. Farrah Mills, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the beginning of transitioning and some tips and tricks and things for my young trans girls who are transitioning. Now of course I always have to say at the beginning these are just my views and my opinions and how I feel about some of the way I've done things or not done things. So just remember that these are choices or options. You do not have to do what I tell you to or what any other trans woman tells you to do because I uh, our own journey is uh, completely private and separate for us and no trans woman's transition is the same we are all different we have wants and needs in different ways some of us go post-op some of us don't some of us have surgery some of us, some of us have no surgery some of us take hormones some of us don't so it's all completely up to you but I just wanted to, to go over a few quick bit points at the beginning which I think are quite important that I think as soon as you've decided that you want to start transitioning, the most important thing to do, if you can, is to start dressing as much as possible. Now, obviously, if you have a day job and you're not ready to completely come out yet, I think it's really important that you start dressing in the evenings and start, if you can, again, obviously with the lockdown, this does not work. But I just mean in general, um, it's a good idea to start going out as a woman and dressing as a woman at home in the evenings. Um, this is what I first started to do because obviously I had a normal job when I first started to transition um, when I was 17, 18. So um, I started to live my life as a, as a woman in the evening uh, and when I wasn't at work and socially just so that I could get used to doing it. Because the most the next step really is for you to go and see a gender specialist. And most gender specialists um, will ask you to have lived full time as a woman for I think a year before they will start prescribing your hormones or giving you the necessary letters for you to give to your doctor and change your name and all that kind of stuff. So I think um, the sooner you can start getting used to that and feeling comfortable doing that, the better, because once you have to start going out all the time as a woman, uh, it can be pretty daunting at the beginning. And I think it's important that you can get as comfortable with it as possible, as early as possible. The next thing I think is really important is that you should start getting your laser treatment done. For your face and your body or wherever else it is you need to get this done laser treatment has come down in price a lot in the last 20 years so you know you may still have to save a little bit for it because it's not cheap cheap but it's definitely a lot cheaper than it used to be so i would suggest getting laser treatment done on your face to get rid of any facial hair that you have any chest hair etc because to be honest laser is like one of the most freeing and most important things that you could do in your transition forget all of the surgeries and all that other stuff having laser done having a smooth face um and being able to sit close to people without having to wear tons of makeup uh, unless you want to of course but i mean having to wear tons of makeup to hide facial hair uh, once you've had your laser done you won't have to worry about that so i think that is another really important step that you need to consider doing um then you need to consider getting your name changed legally which is not very difficult um, but you need your necessary papers from your gender clinic. Now, if um, you find it difficult to find a gender clinic on the NHS, you can go privately. Obviously, that's going to cost you money. It's something that that is the, the, the route that I took when I first started transitioning was I went private. Yes, it was expensive. I don't know who you would go and see now because that was like over 20 years ago. But um I went down the private route just because that was an option that was suggested to me and I was given a doctor by a friend to, to go and see. So it wasn't like I, I kind of just decided to go private. It was because a doctor was available that I knew of and that's how I, I started my transition in that respect. So I think those first few parts are really important. It's important to start dressing as soon as possible whenever you can so that your friends get used to it, your family, hopefully your family are accepting. Obviously this is this is to do with the people who have accepting families because if you're still living with your family, this may not be an option for you to do. Of course, I understand that. But starting off with trying to um, be dressed and presenting as female as much as possible, then get your laser treatment started. Uh, even if you haven't finished it by the time you do start transitioning properly, it's still great to have it underway because the sooner that you can get rid of the hair on your face, the much more confident you will be. And trust me, it really does boost your confidence. And then the third thing would be to 
seek out a gender specialist so that you can be assessed properly. I know it's a horrible thing to have to go and be assessed to prove who you actually are, but it is important because we don't want people who are confused about their gender but aren't actually trans being put on trans um, medicine. So or prescription drugs and all that kind of stuff. So it is important that we do make sure that people are actually trans before they start any medication, as opposed to being just a bit confused about their gender, you know, because they may be gender fluid or something like that. So that's, it is a really important thing. And also I would just say, please, I know that it's hard and I know that you may really struggle and really want to do this, but please don't self prescribe yourself hormones off um, online please go to your doctor and get your um, your levels checked and make sure that you're being prescribed the correct dosage and the correct uh, medication for you because abusing hormone treatment can lead to deep vein thrombosis and it can lead to blood clots and strokes. Uh, and that's also just from taking it generally long term. But if you start abusing it early and you sort of, you overdose on too many hormones, it could cause a lot of problems for you. So I really do urge you to speak to your doctor and make sure that you get your medication um, given to you correctly in the correct dose. It's such an important thing to make sure that that's done in the correct way. Short and sweet, but I don't want to waffle on too, too much. To me, those are the first three most important things that you should uh, consider doing at the beginning of your transition. I hope that's helped some of you. If you have any questions or want me to cover any more topics about transition, then please leave your comments and suggestions in the comments box at the bottom. Have a great day. Love you lot. Speak to you all soon. Goodbye.